good, man. It's good to see you. It is good to you see you. You give yet another award-worthy performance in, in this movie. It's like it's almost too many of this movie. I, I appreciate that. I, it was a story I, I didn't know anything about it, and when it was all, all said and done, I, you know, it, it was uh, something reminded me like a field of dreams. You don't feel these movies coming, and all of a sudden, they're out there. And this Hidden Figures is an untold story, and I think uh, now and a true story, and, yeah. and an amazing story. Taraji P Henson was here last night, yeah. and she was talking about the story about these women who work for NASA, and you play a guy. Yeah. And there was this moment where John, you know, we think we know the story of John Glenn, and just somehow, some, like, it'd be like a joke without a punchline. There's a moment where John won't go unless the math is done by somebody with a pencil and an eraser, and it's just this young African-American woman was the difference to John Glenn going or not going. It's so crazy, yeah. and it's, it's even crazier that we didn't know this story in the first place. You had a, there was a screening at the White House. Uh, when was that screening, last week? Or? Yeah, it was a couple, a couple weeks ago couple we weeks were ago. there, yeah. And it just is, uh, and I also visited the African American Museum there, if you get a chance. I heard that's great. That uh, will uh, break your heart into a thousand pieces, but it's, a, it's, it's something you should get in line for. This is a photograph I need to ask you about because uh, it's you, and President Obama chatting, and there is Octavia Spencer yeah. losing her mind. I feel very right there. And the, what's going on? I thought, at first I thought this was a mirror, but it's obviously not, unless it's some crazy... Yeah, see, Jimmy's got the jacket off in that back thing, Yeah, he's, you know? and it's also... This the, is Hollywood, we're special effects. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's a picture of Barack Obama looking at himself in the mirror while you were looking <laughs> at him there. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's an impressive guy. He is an impressive guy. Did you chat with it? Did you get to just know a, him at just, all? Just a little bit. You know, he was very aware of my career, very aware of things I've done, I and mean, he, he reads. Have you met a lot of the presidents? I've spent I've spent some time with some. I've met uh, Mr. Clinton and and and, uh, and and you know I spent a lot of time with Bush at one time. I Which mean, one? I, with Bush, uh, George Bush Senior. Okay. I uh, I was making JFK and and uh, Oliver and I probably were tired of each other for a second. And it came to Saturday night. He goes, what are you going to do? I said I, I said I'm I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But he goes, well I'm going to the president. I'm going to meet, meet your buddy. I'm going to go see the White House, do a White House. I said, that's good for you, Oliver. We need a break from each other. <laughs> so I had one of these days that you'll never, ever... I, basically, I, I got an invite to play with the Orioles the next day. So I, I thought to myself, well, I'll go take shortstop with Cal. And uh, his father, uh, you know, uh, pitched batting practice to me. I got one out wow. of Memorial Stadium. And now I'm, you know, go back in the locker room. I'm going to shower and watch the game. And I get this call, and it's the president. He says, you want to play golf? And I was like, well, God, God, I was going to see the... And somebody said, that's the president. He asked you to play golf. You've got to go play golf. I said, well, I don't have a car. He says, I'll shut the freeway down. There's somebody going to come get you. <laughs> it's true. So the freeway shut down. I don't get to play with the Orioles. Now I'm on the freeway going the wrong way. Traffic's nothing to wait. Wow. And I'm talking on the phone, and it's like, I said, I don't have any club. They're here for you. I don't have any shoes. What's your size? And then he goes, what do you want to eat? And so... Wait, well, you gave your, the president your lunch order? I had to, yeah. He was asking me. <laughs> literally. And so, no, I'm flying down the freeway, and I got a little bold myself after I said tuna sandwich, and all of a sudden I go, and a brownie. I'd like a brownie. <laughs> so, I, so I, you know, so we go to Andrews Air Force Base, and, I, and he goes, we're waiting for you. I go, geez, the car can only go so fast. So we go there, and the press is on the first tee. They always are asking questions. Uh, 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 Andre Agassi's playing. His future he was son in law. Yeah, it was a force. They lack somebody, Kev. You know, so I, I come up and I got the sandwich in my mouth. I'm hopping, <laughs> trying to get there. They'd already hit. I tee off. It goes right. The Secret Service finds it with a bayonet. And we play. <laughs> it's true. We play, and, we, and we get to the 18th hole, and George says to me, he says, You know, if, if we, if we beat, win this hole, we can, we can tie them. And I thought, no, we can't. We're not even close. We probably lost. We were probably four holes by it. But okay, so we tied him. <laughs> so, I, so, so I had this pretty amazing day, and now I'm about to go home. And he goes, "You want to go to the White House?" And I said, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." We get on the helicopter. We go across the Potomac. The Marines salute. We get off on the White House lawn. We go across, and he pretends to not hear what they're saying. So I'm thinking, okay, now the day's over. And he says, you want to play some horseshoes? I said, <laughs> my pat answer, okay. And uh, so we play two out of three, and now he's going to have dinner, because Andre was his guest and had a girlfriend, a really pretty girl, and, and, and even the president commented. Oh, really? Yeah, he said, pretty girl. <laughs> so I'm thinking, my day's over, and he goes, you want to swim in the pool? <laughs> and, I, and I said, 
by myself? And he goes, yeah, we got all the stuff, all those T-shirts that come from the university. I just hit, you fit. So I'm like, I'm swimming in the pool like this. And, um, and finally, I go, I, I'm not sure about this. And, and uh, so I get out of the pool, I'm going away, and he says, do you want to have dinner? And I said, yeah, fine, I have dinner. So I have dinner with him. We, we never, politics is never brought up by him. And as we starting to get in the car, he says, you know, I'm going to Russia tomorrow. I'm going to work these guys over. He gave me like a five minute thing on what he was going to do. He was very concise, but never talked about politics at all. And so now the next morning, I'm thinking about my day and I'm in the trailer and Oliver comes in. He's like really grumpy. Ah, and I go, what's the matter, Oliver? And he goes, you know, I went over to the White House and they gave me the B tour, not even the A tour. The B tour. He's always upset about something. <laughs> he gave me the B tour. He says, I didn't even get to see the pool because there was somebody in it. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I never told him till now. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a, what a date you had with the president. That's better than The Bachelor all day with him. <laughs> We're going to take a break. Kevin Costner is here. His new movie is called Hidden Figures. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.